Hey guys, it's Warren here. Now, if you're in charge of the Christmas dinner this year and you're cooking turkey, then here are those all important cooking times you'll need, explained to you in kilograms and pounds. And hey, do you like my house? I'm just kidding, this is all fake. So, for a turkey that's under four and a half kilograms, which is 10 pounds, you'll need to cook it for 45 minutes per kilogram or 20 minutes per pound. So, for a four kilogram turkey, which is nine pounds, this would be four kilograms times 45 minutes or nine pounds times 20 minutes, which equals three hours, plus an extra 20 minutes on top of that, which equals three hours and 20 minutes. Now, for a turkey that's between four and a half kilograms, which is 10 pounds, and six and a half kilograms, which is 14 pounds, you'll need to cook it for 40 minutes per kilogram or 18 minutes per pound. So, for a six kilogram turkey, which is 13 pounds, this would be six kilograms times 40 minutes or 13 pounds times 18 minutes, which is four hours. And finally, for a turkey that's over six and a half kilograms, which is 14 pounds, you'll need to cook it for 35 minutes per kilogram or 16 minutes per pound. So for a 10 kilogram, which is a 22 pound turkey, this would be 10 kilograms times 35 minutes or 22 pounds times 16 minutes, which is five hours and 50 minutes, a big turkey. And some final tips to consider when cooking your turkey, always leave it in the fridge until it's ready to use and always store it at the bottom of the fridge away from other ready to eat foods to avoid cross contamination. Make sure your turkey is fully defrosted in the fridge before using it and for a 10 kilogram turkey this can take up to a couple of days. Don't wash your turkey under the tap to avoid any raw turkey juices splashing everywhere. Always check your turkeys cooked through by using a thermometer if possible, but also checking there's absolutely no pink in the thickest part of the turkey and the juices run clear. And remember, when you take your turkey out of the oven, always leave it to rest in aluminium foil before carving. So there you have it, that's how to cook your turkey. I hope you all have a very merry food poisoning free Christmas.